We're going to wash up after the leech, the leech excursion. Uh, I'm just going to wash up really quickly and then I'm going to go home. Thank you. Keep on talking. Take a look at all the redness. The redness of my legs. Everything is red because of the leech bites. But nobody bit me. They just uh, they just um, suction on my feet. And then here, here. Can you wash my dress? Thank you. <laughs> so everybody gets to wash up after they've been inside the lake and uh, they get to remove their aprons it is imperative that everybody uses an apron here and also they're giving me a towel to dry up <laughs> Is my feet dirty? No, not too dirty. Problem? Well, that was really good. Now I'm going to show you the cameraman. This is Gabi, yes, and um, he's wearing two different sandals. Gabi, why are you wearing two different sandals? You lost the other one? Yes. Yes. Um, now, can you hold my camera and so you can explain to me some other things at the farm? What is this? Is this your lunch area? Yes. So you sit here, you have some lunch, lunch you time. relax, mm -hmm. uh, you take your break, and then you go back to work at the leech yes. farm. Hmm. And then, do you sleep over here, upstairs? Let me show you. Let me show you. This is where the boss has set up for the workers to to live. Yes. But also, is this your room as well? Yes. Okay, so they have a place to sleep right here on the premises. And um, Gabby, do you know where, you, where my shoes are? Over there. Okay. I'm just gonna put my shoes on and I will show you more items in this leech farm. Now that I got my shoes on, we can go right back into the farm and find out about some of the other tools. One thing I noticed is this. For cigarettes. This is for the cigarette butts. <laughs> How funny is that? Everybody smokes in Eastern Europe, in case you haven't noticed. Gabi, do you smoke? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Am I saying your name right? What? Is your name correctly pronounced, Gabi? Right? Yes, Okay. Right. And um, what is this for? For clean, love. Cleaning uh, leeches. Leeches. Uh, buckets. Bucket. Buckets and leeches. So why is it that I can't? Oh, okay, here we go. So they have uh, these cleaning, just cleaning jets everywhere. And what is this for? Storage? Oh, Storage. It's... Can I peek inside? Yes? It's 
dirty now. It's okay. Looks like it's a place that's full of le uh, bleach buckets. So I can show you. Oh, uh, right here. This is where they keep their ice because the leeches have to be transported on ice and they have various different ices. And this is where the buckets are stored. And looks like you have some glass jars. What do you do with the glass jars? For big leeches. For in, the big in leeches? Future. Oh. But why do you put them in glass? It's not sure. That's okay. I'm not sure either, and I don't even work here. <laughs> uh, let's go outside and take a look at some of the metal pools, which I've seen earlier, and which I'm not sure what they're all about. Come this way. So, Gabi, what, once uh, once I looked over here and I saw these metal pools, I thought that they're for leeches. What are they for? I don't You're understand. not sure? No. What do you use these these uh, poles for? The metal pole. It's not good for leeches. Okay. So what do you use it for? For, for nothing. For like, nothing I don't right now. So you've actually tried, you tested out the, the pools and they didn't work. So then you decided to just stop using them. Yes. Okay. Got it. Uh, so now I, I see one, two, three metal pools. And what's behind this shed? Is this like a little kitchen? Kitchen yeah. area, like maybe barbecue? Because I took a peek over there. I saw like an oven, stove, things like that. Let's take a look. I see a, a gas stove there. So is this where you fry fish? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. It's very interesting, I must say. It's a little bit makeshift, but it's a big operation, let me assure you. Um, there is over 20 tons of leeches that turn over each year through this farm. So not 10 tons, but 20 tons of leeches go through this farm. And for somebody who is a really big, big time uh, buyer, uh, supplier or distributor, this is a very important farm. Without it, they won't be able to maintain their leech distribution business or their leech sales. So uh, it's a very, very good idea to maintain a good relationship with a farm like this if you're going to be a leech seller or leech supplier distributor or even a leech farmer it's good to visit this farm and i will put the links below where you can sign up and uh, book a trip they also have leech hotels at the leech lakes where you can see the whole the whole process and you can interview the boss yourself and uh, you saw you saw him earlier he's a very friendly guy he he speaks his mind and he will tell you everything that you want to know i'm tetsi and from beautiful sunny eastern europe i'll say goodbye right now and i'll see you again next week bye don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to buy your leeches from leeches.com or medicalleeches.com or hirudo.com bye